So, let's start. Um, in the Hunger Games, you uh, play Peter Malak. Which characteristics um, have Peter and you in common? Oh, a ton. I think, I mean, when I was reading the books, I'd never felt like I, I connected with the character more than I did with Peter. Um, you know, Peter has this very strong belief that, you know, no matter what kind of circumstances you're faced with, you need to maintain who you are as a person. And, and for me, that's one of my biggest beliefs. And, and, and also, Peter is, is kind of a self-deprecating humor sort of guy, and that's sort of how I use humor. Um, so I think we, we have a lot, a, lot, a lot in common. Okay. Rewind back to the moment when you found out that you landed the role of Peter. What was your reaction? Okay, literally, here's my reaction. This is, got the call. That, that was it. Like, I, could, okay. I couldn't formulate words. I was so excited and I was so struck by the idea of getting to play him that I could not say words. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> Peter is the son <clears throat> of a baker. What about your baking skills or cooking? I can, I can bake a little bit. I mean, I'm more of a grill guy. I can like grill burgers really well and, and, and microwave. I'm great with the microwave. I can press the buttons and take it out and blow on and then eat it. So I, I, you know, I, I keep my skills pretty, uh, pretty tame in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Which scene, uh, scene do you like the most or had the, mon uh, the uh, most fun to play? I love the scenes uh, between Katniss and Peeta in the cave. I think that as an actor to kind of get to play out that relationship where Katniss finally learns to trust Peta, and Peta finally admits to Katniss how, he, how he's felt about her his entire life. Uh, that was probably the most interesting as an actor to get to play. Okay. In The Hunger Games, uh, Peta is in love with Katniss. Yes. Um, how is it to play being in love when you're actually not? Um, in a way, I feel like I kind of am in love with, with Jennifer. She's such an amazing person, and, and she's obviously beautiful and an extremely talented actress. Um, but, you know, yeah, it's part of acting. I think I've had to do it a few times now, and, and it is sort of weird when you kind of are thrown with this person, and you don't know them, and you're like, okay, you love them. Uh, and you're like, uh, yeah, of course I do. So you kind of just have to just don't hold back and kind of go for it. Okay. You have <clears> a kissing scene in the movie, and how do you prepare for such a private moment? Uh, you brush your teeth five times. Uh, and I don't know, for me, kissing is another one of those things I would like with kind of playing like you're in love. It's just part of acting, and, and as you do it more, you kind of get more used to it. Peter's in love with Katniss ever since. Um, who was your dream girl when you were little? Oh, man. I had this crush on uh, this girl all throughout elementary school whose name was Chloe. I don't remember her last name, but I remember that I knew we were getting married, but we never did, and I don't even know her anymore, unfortunately. In the arena, Peter and Katniss have to face their biggest fears. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you are really afraid of? You know, I, I kind of like to pride myself on being like more or less fearless. Uh, I don't like spiders. You know, that's like my one thing. That I'm just like, I don't, I don't trust them. They're very, very sneaky, and they're never up to any good. The Hunger Games franchise is already being uh, compared to the successful Twilight Saga. Mm -hmm. Are you afraid of the hype? Um, it's a lot to live up to. Um, you know, for me, the, those movies are extremely successful, so you know, I, I would give anything to have that kind of success. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I understand the comparisons with the books and whatnot, but they're entirely different worlds. You know, the, the Hunger Games is, is based in this futuristic world where you know, people have to fight to survive, and so it's, it's a very, very much a different kind of story. And what do you think uh, your life will be one year from now? Oh boy, um, let's see, one year from now, hopefully we're, we're working on the, the second and third Hunger Games. Uh, but I'm pretty excited. I'm excited to see how the fans respond to the movie. <laughs> okay. Gail and Peter are kind of rivals and fight for the love of Katniss. Did you ever fought for the love of a girl? Oh boy. Um, I think so, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of feel like a lot of times in, in relationships, you're sort of always fighting one way or another. You know, I mean, not, not fighting, obviously, but, you know, trying to improve upon things. So I think that, uh, yeah, I, I've never had a fight for a girl before. Okay, and um, a little cheeky question. Um, right. You play in Journey 2, too. Mm -hmm. And um, who's the better kisser? Jennifer Ooh. Lawrence or Vanessa Hutchins? Whichever way I answer, I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, <laughs> either, either way. I, okay, um, I'm gonna, hold on, I can't, I can't even answer that, honestly, they were, they were both very nice to kiss, I will say that much, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's an honest answer, like, I really, I cannot choose, I'm not just not choosing, but I can't choose. Okay, um, did you know your co-stars before filming, I or how did they, did you met? No, I, I, had, I had met uh, Jennifer and Liam a few times, um, but I didn't really know anybody. Um, so it was kind of nice to get to know these guys, and we all became really good friends very fast. Is there a scene uh, you'd wish they would have cut out? 
Honestly, no. I think that, I mean, I haven't seen the full movie yet, so I don't know what has been cut out. Um, but no, I mean, I think that we, we stayed very true to the book, and that was kind of our, our goal throughout. So we, we, we kept all the same heart uh, as the book had. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Fantastic.